There's also additional files and folders that you can create within your child theme to customize the content for your website. So for example, you might want to create your own customized home page. Now to do this and to change any of the additional content within your file, you simply match that for the existing core file themes. For example, if we go to the ShopperPress main um, file options and view all of the content within the template underscore ShopperPress, these are all of the design files that are loaded when the website loads. So for example, we can see we have things like underscore 404, which is the page that's loaded when there is a 404 error or a file cannot be found. We have the article page, author page, comments, the footer section, the gallery page, the header page, the home page, and so on and so forth. If you want to create your own customized version of this file, say for example the home page, we best simply copy this home page, go to our child theme, and paste it into our child theme. What will happen here is when the website loads, instead of loading the one from our ShopperPress template underscore ShopperPress, it will instead load it from our themes and, and an example ShopperPress theme homepage one instead. And that is because we have selected the child theme here as our child theme for our website. So it will search and look for all of the files that um, can be found within our child theme folder here and load them instead of the ones that are default to the ShopperPress theme. So if we then go ahead and refresh our website, you'll notice that the home page is now loading the content from this home page file. So if I open it up, and say customize it by removing all of the content here and just adding my own text. When I refresh the website, you will now see it says testing, which is a text that we have added to this home page file here. Now this is obviously HTML content you add to this file and there are a number of hooks, for example get underscore header and then get underscore footer which are a part of WordPress and can all be found on the WordPress main website. So you must be a little bit familiar with some of the example hooks that are available in WordPress to understand how to get the header content and the footer content into your file. So that's the basic the concept of editing and creating custom pages. We would do the same for our example content. So for example, as you can see here, we have some of the content display options. If I wanted to customize, say, this content box here that displays the actual product, I would go to my main ShopperPress folder, under template underscore ShopperPress, where it stores all of the default display um, page options. This text box, this box here that displays a product is called underscore item. So I would copy this, copy it into my ch newly created child theme, and then I would go ahead and edit this. And this is all of the code that's used to display um, this text box here. And obviously it changes when you um, change on the uh, display options here. But say for example I wanted to add um, a testing next to the product title, I would open up this option here, find the product title, which is here, post title, and then I could put my own custom text in here, for example, um, testing, one, two, three, save this file, and then refresh my website, and you'll notice now that the product title has a testing one, two, three. And it's the same concept, I could then go ahead and customize this file um, to change the design, etc. So if I didn't want the image, I could just drop out the image here. So if I save this, the image will and refresh. Now the image is gone. And say for example, I didn't want the title, I could cut out the title, refresh again. So now we just have a price. And obviously you can customize that completely um, to any way you want. And the basic concept again is just simply copying some of the existing core th file options, the display files from our ShopperPress theme, which are all found in this template underscore ShopperPress. So I could go ahead and customize the footer, the header, the home page, etc., etc. Put those in my child theme folder instead. 
and they will then be loaded from the child theme instead of the call theme. Now, creating and customizing the styling and the content for your theme is, is all well and good. But you may have times where you want to create your own functionality within the actual theme, which will then be loaded obviously when the page loads. Now, adding core functionality to each and every theme file itself can be often very difficult. So what we have within our child themes is the option to add a functions file, which is loaded globally, allowing you to add your own functions, which you could then call at any time. So if I go, for example, um, um, and begin by loading our functions file, and to do this we create a file called underscore functions.php, and it's case sensitive, so it must all be um, a lower case. But what happens here if I go ahead and open this file? We can then begin by adding our own PHP functionality. Um, and this will then be loaded globally on our website. So we can add special WordPress hooks, um, taxonomies, etc. that will then be loaded into the admin area of WordPress as well as into the front end of our WordPress design. So if you wanted to, for example, create a quick print function, um, so if I went in, um, ahead and created a function in PHP, t um, test text, um, and it's just a basic function, and basically it's going to print hello world. Okay, so basically this function on its own when the page loads, um, if we go back to our website, it's not going to do anything, it's just going to load up and run in the background. So as you see there, there is nothing here. But, however, if I wanted this content to load into our, say, text boxes here, these are the display options that were um, showing our products, um, I would then edit the um, item here, which is the page that displays our product. And then I, I would load in our, our function here. So I could then um, create a h1 tag here in HTML and then echo our option here. And then if I go back to my website and refresh, I now have this hello world. And obviously as um, I could just, as it's a print option, I don't even need the echo option, it'll just load automatically. Or if we wanted it to be a return function, I would then use the echo tag. So basically that's the concept of adding functions um, within your child theme, which can then be built and displayed multiple times in multiple locations. So as you can see now, all of the, um, the actual products that I load up from our website um, will be able to display this single function. So I, I, will, I, I could then create just one function here that will then be displayed multiple times onto our website. And the good thing about this functions file also is it allows you to use a lot of the WordPress hooks and tags that you can use it within the actual theme. So here you can add all of your special WordPress functionality, all of your hooks, etc., all of your filters and admin content, and they will be loaded into the admin area of WordPress as well as into your main core theme files.